Hi, Movie Space here. Today, I'm going to explain an American comedy romance film called Anchorman The Legend of Ron Burgundy. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. As the narrator starts telling the story of a distinctive era in the news world, Anchorman and their impact on society, one in particular, the legend Ron Burgundy was a symbol. With his voice, charisma and personality, captured the hearts of all people in San Diego, California. As the announcer started presenting Channel 4 broadcasters, Ron Burgundy as the anchorman and the cornerstone of the channel, Champ Kind as sports presenter, Brick Townland as the weather presenter, and the field reporter Brian Fantana. After the end of the broadcast, which was filled with some frivolous news, Burgundy finishes with his famous line, Stay classy San Diego. The channel director Ed Harkin congratulates the team as the channel ranked first in views ratings. He then advises them not to party too hard. Later at the party, while everyone is having fun, the news crew broke the fourth wall to present themselves. Brian as the stylish, self-obsessed one, Champ as the crazy, out-of-control one, and lastly Brick as the clueless with low IQ likable one. As they were having fun, Ron spotted a blonde beautiful woman and decided to flirt with her. As he attempted to do so, he panicked as she failed to recognize him and left him high and dry. Tomorrow at the station, as Harkin gathered the whole crew in the meeting room, telling them that he hired a woman to join the news team to show their support to diversity in the public eye, it turns out that the woman is the same Ron tried to hit on last night, Veronica Cornerstone. After presenting herself and expressing her joy to work with Channel 4, the news team at Harkin's office were angrily expressing their refuse for her to join them as it's not a place for a woman. While Ron was confused about her as he complimented her eyes and her hair scent, Brick was yelling nonsense all the time. Brian and Champ were blatantly expressing their vulgar opinions about her with Ed laughing about it. Veronica entered the office asking for a workspace of her own. Ron yelled that she could use his office. On her way out after being told to use the bullpen while her office is ready, she heard Champ bad-mouthing her only to strengthen her conviction to be the best reporter in the channel. Later at the park, Ron and the news team strolling talking about Veronica with Ron defending her, they met West Mentooth, the evening news anchor and his team, and got in a verbal altercation with them as West made fun of Channel 4 team clothes. Watch Champ replied by making fun of Wes's mother, then left while shaming them of ranking second behind them in ratings. Back at Hawkins' office while he was on the phone discussing his son's issues with the school principal, Veronica storms in, complaining about a catch-all story she was given to tell, then left angrily after being told that it's her job to do as she told. While she sat at her desk, Champ came and tried harassing her only to surprise him with a punch to the groin. Meanwhile, at Ron's office, Brian was preparing to make a move at Veronica as he opens a secret closet in the wall with perfumes in it to put on a special perfume he called As Panther, which caused chaos and made Veronica and almost everyone in the studio vomit due to its pungent, horrible smell. After Brick's turn came, as he approached her stupidly, inviting her to a party in his pants, which she politely declined. Lastly, Ron tried his luck by summoning Veronica to his office whilst pretending to work out in order to impress her, which she was disappointed calling it the weakest flirting attempt then as he was convincing her to take her to a walk across town to get to know the city better. She agreed to Ron, who was having an erection that put them both in an awkward situation. After Brian reported to the studio about a panda in the zoo and the news ended, Ron took Veronica to a hilltop with a beautiful landscape view of San Diego in the night. After chatting a little where it's clearly they are attracted to each other, he invited her for a drink. While at the bar, they were approached by Tino, the club owner who complimented Ron in front of Veronica then insisted that he play jazz flute on stage, which was a spot-on show mixed with his usual craziness that affected her so much that they sleep together after going to Ron's house. Afterwards, Veronica with mixed up feelings of affection for Ron and her desire to become a professional network lead anchor decided with him to keep their relationship a secret. 
at his office sitting with new team, Ron yelling about having slept and being in love with Veronica. After that, he tried explaining the concept of love to his clueless friends with a song. After reporting on the cat show that Veronica seems to hate too much, Ron asks the broadcast announcing it all about him and Veronica. Later at the restaurant, Ron calms down an angry Veronica telling her that he loves her. Back at the news station, the crew after debating Veronica's effects on Ron and how their relationship affected the entire news crew as he doesn't spend time with them as he used to. Ron laughed angrily disapproving of what he hears. At Harkin's office, Veronica is always trying to prove her worth, wanting a good story to tell, only to be shot down again by Ed. With his Doc Baxter on the way to the news station, while crossing a bridge, Ron accidentally threw a burrito he was eating out of the window at a biker causing an accident. The biker then angrily kicked his dog out of the bridge as a revenge. With Ron going into a mental breakdown, Veronica takes matters in her hand and challenges Hawkins to present the news. After crying his lungs out in a cartoonish way on a call with Brian who tells him that Veronica will present the news, Ron raced his way down to the station. While she perfectly presented, despite Champ and Brian's distractions, after having a fight in front of all channel's crew, as Ron felt betrayed by her and her feeling underappreciated by him. Network decision came announcing Veronica being co-anchor with Ron. Veronica's reputation skyrocketed despite Ron's attempts to make her fail. After deciding to go buy new suits to compensate for their loss, the news crew wanders off to an abandoned area of town, where they meet Mantooth and his crew, and just before they begin fighting after Wes insulting them because of Veronica, they were interrupted by Richard and the Channel 2 news team, public news team, and Spanish language news crew. After it escalated to a chaotic fight and everyone gets a beating at the office while the crew were chatting about the fight and the impacts Veronica caused to their reputation, Ron decided to put an end to it. In the newsroom, Veronica approached him needing to use the VHS player which he was using to watch himself, but insults turned quickly into a fight between the two, only to be stopped by Hawkins. As the Channel 4 women gathered in a bar having drinks, one of them suggested to Veronica that Ron would read everything he sees on the teleprompter, which she did by changing his line, stay classy San Diego, to go F yourself San Diego. Ron read it later in the news. While he was being his cartoonish, ignorant self, everybody else was in shock of what he said. As security had to protect him off angry protesters going out of the station after being fired because of the mess he caused, feeling sorry of what she did, Veronica at the door yelled his name. After her taking Ron's place as lead anchor, he falls down into a spiral of depression as he meets his friends in the streets yet gets ignored by them. While he was at a bar loathing himself with a song, every news channel in San Diego was eagerly waiting to capture the birth of the new baby panda at the zoo. After Veronica found the perfect angle for the camera, public news team reporter pushed her off the fence inside the bird section. After her going missing, Hawkins had to call the bar where Ron's at, telling him that he needs him reporting for him again. After cleaning him, after cleaning himself up at the restroom and calling his crew out loud, who were at the bar with him playing pool all this time, they get together once again and head to the zoo. Reaching it, the team notices Veronica down in the beer's pit, and while they were urging Ron to give up on her and focus on the story as the network scout was present, Ron with mixed up feelings finally decides to help her. But without thinking, he jumps right inside the pit and reunites with her after which she confesses to him about the teleprompter trick. As bears woke up and people began gathering around, the crew jumped right in and started fighting with the bears. One great bear was about to attack Ron and Veronica when Baxter, Ron's dog who was alive all this time, jumped right in and began communicating with the bear and manages to save them. As he was about to get out of the pits, he was confronted by Mantooth who confessed to him that he deeply hates him, yet he greatly respects him. Then Ron was handed the microphone by Hawkins to tell the story he was always meant to tell. The story he refused to tell alone as he invites Veronica to report with him, which ended with a kiss between the two. Champ managed to work as an NFL commentator, then got fired due to a co-worker harassment. 
Brian hit high with a reality TV show, Brick as a top political advisor at the White House, and as for Ron and Veronica who became the first mixed gender network news team, as they say, happily ever after.